So I went to work at Equinox. I'm living with roommates, and I'm cranking out sessions, man. And I'm, you know, trying to build my client roster and doing everything I need to do. And this is when I built up that habit where I said, man, what the hell happened with my life? Why am I here? What's going on? I can't believe I failed this badly. And it's all perspective, right? I thought I failed because I was grinding, hate that word, but it's what the kids say, grinding. And I'm just banging out sessions. And I went home one night, it's 10.30 at night, and the former Marine, Jason Geary, looks at me and he goes, what's wrong? I'm like, dude, I'm working like from 5 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night. I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm making a dent or making an impact. He goes, brother, are you helping people? I said, yeah, I'm helping people. He goes, all you need to do is take the things that got you to where you were in the NFL and apply them to your everyday life and you will have even more success doing this. So I started to do that and I said, I don't care what it takes. I don't care what the job is. I'm gonna do a great job. I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna give everything I have. I'm gonna give every ounce of energy in my body and we're gonna see what happens. You know, and I remember we had 26 trainers there and we had a, had a nail in the back with all the name tags of the trainers. And every time someone quit, we put the name tag on, on the board. And it was like hundreds of people. I was there for almost nine years. Or, uh, it was a long time. And the first week I was there, the GM took a towel and he goes, hey man, do me a favor, go clean the floor. And he thought I was like this cocky NFL guy. And I was like, okay. I was like, I grabbed the towel and I always say, my first reaction was, man, I'm thinking of creative ways to kill this dude, right? I have two choices. I can go all in and do a good job on this, like I really try to do with everything in my life, or I can let my ego take over and say, I'm too good for this and quit. So he gives me the towel and he's kind of, you know, got this smirk on his face. And I get down and I start like, and I take the water out and I pour the water on the thing and I'm scrubbing the thing. He's like, Mark, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, you told me to clean the floor. I said, I'm trying to clean the floor, but I'm gonna need something else because this floor looks like shit. I don't know whose job it was before, but I'm gonna do a better job. So why don't you go grab me that stuff while I work on this and we'll make some progress. So he never told me to clean the floor again. So I realized that my attitude is gonna determine my success. I know you've heard it a million times. It's nothing new, but I didn't care about anything else. All I cared about was doing a good job, serving the people in front of me, and trying to add value to their life. All I knew is that I wanted them to have the same experience with gyms, training, and improving their mental health and wellness that I had growing up. And if I could do that and serve them, things will work out. 